Hello guys, how are you? How is everybody? <laughs> how far? You go better republic. How far? What did they happen? Then I go so. Mama me ho, na me de me nti ho, mo na mo kan. Ye de ye ni ho, mo na mo kan o. Ye ni me akọ so. Mo na mo ti ije ni mu. Mo me ye hu ekoyi. He go better republic at say. Mm. Animal e, in shiga na eche e. O fa ine wa, mi nje bo, mi bi bo keke. How far? System e okay. System e okay. E go better republic. Good. You see the video I'm about to do? I'm going to use this video to prove to you why creating an enabling environment for everybody else, not just a few people, is one of the ways you can measure the prosperity of a country. Listen carefully. By the time I finish this video, I want you to at least see whether I have answered the key question of why leadership must create an enabling environment hmm, for everybody, whether they are at the bottom or at the top, to have an opportunity to live a better life. When I finish, let me know whether I answered that question. Okay? Let me know if I answer that question. Please let me know. This morning, I did a video. Actually, my uh, I think it was my second video. In that video, I was giving you guys an update, a renovation update, an update on the renovation of a property that I'm working on, okay? And you saw that I was actually explaining or telling you guys what exactly the contractors were doing. The contractors there were about five. There is a main contractor. The main contractor is the one I hired and I gave the contract to. And then he has people who work for him. He has electricians. He has different, different people who work for him. I want you to listen carefully. This morning, there was a white guy, a Caucasian who came. I was in the car when I saw him trying to come into the driveway. So I asked him if he's here to work and he said yes. To be honest, I don't know him. He also doesn't know I'm the landlord. He doesn't know I'm the landlord. Hmm? He doesn't know I'm the landlord. Watch it though. In a serious country, when it's even raining, they are working on it. Watch it. Can you see? They are fixing electric polo. Slight problem. They defeat them. Watch them all. Serious countries. See them. It's raining. You can see it's raining. Look at my windscreen. They are working on And as they are working, somebody is here to direct traffic. Pass here, pass here. They are here watching. They are work. They are fixing polo. He has a problem. It's raining, you know. You can see they are wearing jacket. They are working, though. Know. Leadership, 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 leadership. The other one is standing on the other side, though, controlling the traffic, telling them not to come. Leadership. I told you. In any serious country, leaders don't sleep. They are the last to sleep. Leaders don't sleep. Let me stay on topic because you know when I begin talking about leadership right now, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Listen carefully. So the white guy went to the basement and then the other guy who is from Afghanistan, the main contractor, okay? The main contractor that I gave the job to, he's from Afghanistan. He came here probably as a refugee or something. And then he's been able to become a contractor. Uh, he does renovations, he's, so he's the one I gave the job to. But I don't know the people that come to work for him. All I know is that I gave the contract to him because he's the one who is the contractor. Now, when I went to the basement, go and watch that video. If you didn't watch that video, go back. You'll notice that there is a white guy, very young white guy there. I think he was wearing a, a red sweater. Did you guys see him in the video? By the time I finished the video, the guy was not there. He was gone. So I asked the Afghanistan guy that was working with him that there was a white guy here, Caucasian guy, a young guy, probably around 20-something years old. Where is he? Is he on break? He said, no, he's gone. I said, why is he gone? He said, ah, he's, he, 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 he just disappeared. 
he's gone i said ah does it work for you guys he said oh actually yesterday this white guy posted an advert online to say that he's looking for a job in a renovation job he can do this he can do this he knows how to work with his hand so he's looking for a job he, he himself posted the ad he posted the ad and said he's looking for a job so this afghanistan guy contacted him and told him i am offering you a job come they asked him to come and work yesterday he didn't show up listen carefully they asked this caucasian guy to come and work yesterday he didn't show up no show he didn't even respond and tell the um, the new employer who is offering him the job the afghanistan guy that he will not come in no no response so today he decided to show up when he even showed up he showed up late i was here before he came the contractors were already working before he came he showed up late he came inside and then they gave him a job to use the drill to be drilling nails you saw him go and watch the video i want you to go and watch the video well well when i finish i'll tell you whether you, you i'm coming somewhere go and watch that video the title is update on renovation you go and watch it go and watch it i did it today the afghanistan guy down there gave this caucasian guy a job his job was simple put nails screwdrivers or whatever nails huh to nail the thing Huh? Go and watch the video. That's all you were supposed to do. After doing it for one hour, huh? they are paying him $16 an hour. $16 an hour. $16. Canadian dollars an hour. He did it for one hour. He didn't even tell the employer he's going. He just disappeared and he's gone. This is my question for you. This guy is young. He himself posted that he's looking for a job an employer reached out to him and gave him a job he was supposed to start yesterday no show no notice no message to the employer he showed up today he was given a job to do not a hard job put to drill nail into the ceiling putting nail up there he did it for one hour disappeared didn't tell the employer He's not interested in the job and he's gone. Now, I'm going to ask you this key question. This Caucasian guy, does he have an excuse to say that he cannot find jobs? Please answer it down there for me. Answer it for me. I want us to know whether we are following. Hmm? This Caucasian guy, can he go out there and blame the government for not creating opportunity for him to survive. Can he, can, he, can he blame the government? Remember, the government didn't employ him all. But the government has created a system that allows private individuals to create jobs and employ other people. This Caucasian guy that is gone, will he have a valid reason to blame the leaders of this country for not creating jobs for him? Yes or no? I want to hear your answers. He's gone. One hour. He's gone. 16 Canadian dollars an hour. He's gone. One hour. For this Canadian for this for this Caucasian guy, is he suffering from the lack of a job to do? Or there are jobs and he's running away from the job? Which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? He himself posted and said he's looking for a job. My people, he himself posted and said he was looking for a job. If you give me the chance right now, I can open my other phone and show you how many people post online that they are looking for job. Last year when I, do, I was doing one of my projects, I went on Facebook. A Caucasian guy posted that he is a handyman. He can do any job. Drywall, 
flooring, any job. He doesn't mind the price. I told him I will pay him $20 an hour to just come and clean around. Clean, just come and clean around. He responded and said, yes, he gave me time. On the very day, this is me, my own experience. If you dare me right now, I'll open the phone for you to see it. The next day I messaged him, no show. I kept messaging him, no show. This person I just talked about you, is he suffering in a country where there are no opportunities? Or he's living in a country where there are opportunities and he doesn't want it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Tell me down there. Yeah. Do you see the difference? Let me give you another example. There is somebody who has graduated from university, has a first degree, or has an HND, has prepared a resume, is so ready to work, moving from bank to bank, just looking for an interview. He lives in a country, a republic called Republic of Ego Beta. This person is moving around, looking for a job for 10 years, 15 years, 8 years, five years since he graduated from school he doesn't have what it takes to be an entrepreneur all he wants to do is to start a corporate life he has not committed any crime he decided he, he doesn't have what it takes to be an entrepreneur but he wants to start a corporate life he's been moving around moving around moving around he can't find a job not even an interview is this person living in a country that has provided enough opportunity for his kind. Which one is it? Which one is it? My people tell me, which one is it? Which one is it? Here is where I tell you this. And read my lips. Because I ain't joking when I tell you this. this. If you know anybody who has blood running through their system and they don't have disability and they are not physically challenged they are not mentally challenged body is working brain is working and they live in the western world and they are not illegal migrants who cannot go around and look for job and they have papers to work and they tell you Life is hard. Tell them to come and see Chaco Melonia. They are lazy. They are lazy. Capital letters. L. Capital A. Capital Z. Capital Y. I say so on authority. Tell them to come and see me. I'll show them how to come out of it. Lazy people. Lazy people. Go and see how many people are in Africa begging for this kind of jobs to do. Lazy people. He's going to stay homo. He's going to stay homo. Smoke shisha. You know shisha? He's going to stay home and get high. He's going to get some weed and smoke it. He's going to get dry. He's going to drink alcohol and sleep. Because the government is going to give him money at the end of the day. They don't want to work. Lazy people. Lazy people. You know what we suffer from here? There are way too many opportunities looking for people. There are all kinds of jobs. Do you even know why they bring foreigners to come and work on the farm? Because these people here, they will do it. Too lazy to do it. They won't do it. They are too lazy to even work on the farm. Too lazy. If you dare me right now, I'm going to open my phone for you to see how many people have offered jobs and they run away. And most of them are not even immigrants. So, There are people who live here and don't even recognize the opportunities they are messing up with. Come to Africa. People are begging for cleaning jobs, security guard jobs. Some of you, all you want is just security jobs. You can't even get it, isn't it? Get you, get you no want. Want you, want you no get. Which country do you live in? A country where the leaders have created an enabling environment for jobs to thrive, opportunities for everybody, to the point that some of you can say, no, I don't even want that job. Oh. Or you live in a country where you search every nook and cranny, every corner 
and there is nothing. Those of you who are entrepreneurs and you are born, you've been trying to scale, you've been trying to expand, you've even been trying to start, but the system seems it is too good at swallowing and chopping and killing businesses. Which republic do you live right now? Is it the Republic of Igobeta? Or you live in a republic where there are way too many opportunities to the point that you are doing blue bed, blue bed. Which one shall I choose? Blue bed, blue bed. Which one shall I choose? Hey, God bless you. Use the hashtag Igobeta. Share these videos. Hmm? Let's use the hashtag. Anytime you are sharing my videos, use the hashtag ego beta republic use that watch the watch the high heading you can see i'm using that use it let everybody know about ego beta republic and their leaders we will expose them we want to get to a point where in africa there will be jobs like this begging for people to do and there will be no people we want to get to a point where in africa somebody will be begging other people from other parts of the world to come and work on our farms because we have way too many opportunities we want to get to a point where we are ready to bring foreigners to come and take care of our houses because we have too many opportunities. Currently, as it starts now, it is Egobeta Republic. Egobeta Republic, where we spiritualize artificial problems and we pray to God about them. I'm a Christian. I pray to God for serious things, but I take action for things that I'm supposed to do. I don't pray to God for things that I'm supposed to do. I pray to God about serious things that I need. And I ask him that his will should prevail. But when I rise up in the morning and I brush my teeth and I put on my clothes, I get into action. I don't just pray and sit down. I pray and I take action too. In Ego Beta Republics, we spiritualize artificial problems and we sit back. And we laugh about it. God bless you and thanks for watching. Lazy people are all over in the Western world. They don't like to work. Too lazy. They want to have sex all day. They are, they are doing shisha. They are drinking alcohol all day. They are healthy. They won't work. Lazy people are everywhere. In other republics, healthy people are begging for the menial jobs. They are begging for crumbs. They can't even get it. Funny world, isn't it? God bless you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Ego Republic. Bye-bye.